What's happening YouTube? This is the One Great Ajax coming at you with another pepper review. My friend sent, uh, Jeremy Iman sent me a massive box of peppers the other day, including a ton of different varieties, but I decided to go ahead and pick out some of my favorites, set them aside, do reviews, and taste them, possibly save some seeds and stuff. Um, the rest I'm, I'm putting into a giant ferment for my next batch of sauces. So shout out to Jeremy Iman. Thanks, bro. You're awesome. Um, so this is the one that we're going to be eating today. And it's a very pretty pod. This is actually a cross between a Carolina Reaper and a Scotch Bonnet. And they call it a Reaper Bonnet. It is not seven generations old yet, so it's not fully stabilized. But I'm going to try to get the seeds out of this pod and keep it. Uh, and, you know, try to, try to grow the next generation out. Um, massive pod, nice and symmetrical, uh, kind of bumpy skin like a reaper has, but it's got that beautiful bonnet around it like the scotch bonnet, and it does have a little bit of the tail. I don't know if you can see, but the tail is like folded over, but you can see where it was trying to get that scorpion or reaper-like tail going. Um, there's more varietals than this, but these are some of my favorites. He sent me a nice looking death spiral here. Um, I'm actually not 100% positive what this is. I think that it's either a seven pot of some kind or a scorpion of some kind, but it is a massive pretty pod, so I'm going to keep that one. If anybody knows what it is, let me know in the comments. Um, this is a bleeding Borg 9. I know that for sure. And it's going to be super duper hot, so looking forward to that one. This is the Big Red Mama. And all those like deep red, super blistery, wrinkly peppers are very intriguing. Definitely looking forward to trying this one. Uh, here we have a yellow Maruga Scorpion. And this is a Black Panther. Looks more like a purple panther to me, but it's a wild looking pepper regardless. Uh, it's got some like knots and stuff on it, like pointy knots, and that's not rot or anything. It's supposed to be blackish purple like that. All of the ones of this variety that were in the pack he sent me had that on them. So those are the ones that I'm keeping for later. This bad boy is today, and I'm not going to just pop the entire pepper. We're going to do a little surgery on it, try to get the seeds set aside. And uh, actually, I need to grab another paper plate, put the seeds on. Back to business. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is pop the stem off. And then I don't wanna slice right down through the center. I'm going to, yeah, I'm gonna kinda of go around it using a nice sharp, sweet knife today. This is my Benchmade Griptilian. 550-1 with 20 CV steel and uh, the axis lock and everything so three floats anyway what's the best way to go about this I'm gonna cut around the pepper here Let's see if we can pop this cap off There's a tiny little uh, twin in there at the top. Let's see if we can get the camera to focus. But you can see there's another little twin pepper stuck inside of there. And most of the seeds are right here. Not a whole lot of seeds in there for a pepper this size. Uh, this is completely clean already, except for just a couple of seeds. Might scrape that out as well. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and try to get those couple seeds out. I mean, the more we have, the more chance we have of getting one that'll grow, I suppose, right? And what I'll probably do is just dry these out on a paper plate up in a high cabinet 
and then I will probably give him a couple of weeks up there, transfer him to a Ziploc bag, and very early next year, we'll start trying to germinate them. I don't have land to grow on here, but I can definitely try to germinate seeds and get seedlings going because you can do that with a little piddly Walmart grow light. Let's see if I can get this whole cluster out. Definitely going to have to wash my hands pretty thoroughly after this though, messing around with the inside of this pepper with reaper blood in it. Okay. So there are all my seeds. I'll worry about flaking them off later and getting it good and drying out and everything. And if you look inside of the cap, we got that little abort there. I'm gonna go ahead and pick him out. A little, little green boy. All right. Nice fruity citrusy smell coming off of it. So this is what we're gonna be eating today. We really didn't take much out. Um, this is the placenta and the seeds. And that's all we took out for that massive pepper. Let's see if we can get this put back together the way it was. Uh, pretty much. That's pretty much it. All right. I am the one great Ajax. This is the Reaper Bonnet. And let's go to town. What a massive pod. Super fresh and juicy. Like water and juice flowing all around my mouth. Definitely citrusy on the flavor profile. A little sweet. Took three swallows to get that one down. That thing was huge. Mm. And the capsaicin is flowing. For sure, for sure. Now, the smell coming off of it was pretty floral. And I expected the flavor to be more floral than it was. I mean, you could you could notice it there. But I would say it was dominantly citrusy, sweet. Mild flavors in general. Um, easy to eat. Maybe uh, without those seeds in there, it just had a better texture. But that was a meaty pepper. Like, I couldn't even fit the whole thing in my mouth. And... I probably chewed for what, about a minute, something like that. Great flavor. As far as the heat goes, I don't know. I would probably put that somewhere around, I mean, it's less than half a million for sure. Probably somewhere between. 250,000 and half a million like mouth is burning quite a bit starting to go down the throat and everything but it didn't give me the hiccups my lungs aren't burning um, the middle of my chest isn't burning 
very tolerable. So I'm gonna give the flavor on the yellow Reaper bonnet. An 8.5, maybe a nine. And I'll give the heat a four. Um, if you are not a chili head and you're used to jalapenos, even if you're used to habaneros, it's gonna be way up there. That heat's gonna be an eight or a nine, most likely. I'd say, I'd say for somebody that's used to eating jalapenos, they like jalapenos on their nachos and everything, this would be a seven or an eight. Significantly hotter than that. But man, the trade-off is worth it. Great flavor on that pepper. I don't want this video to drag on too long. So I'm gonna call that it for today. This is one great Ajax signing off. Later.